So thank you to my friend Pascal Oskignac for nominating me for the five minute challenge, uh, which is very exciting. Thank you Pascal for a Sunday afternoon. Um, so this is all about a charity called um, Only a Payment Away. Um, it's a charitable initiative. Um, it's essentially hospitality pulling together to try to get homeless people off the streets and back into work. And uh, brilliant Tom Aikins has partnered up with them. Um, and it's kind of spreading like wildfire at the minute. So everybody's doing it on Instagram. It's my turn, although I've been meaning to do this for, for about two and a half, three weeks. So uh, sorry, Tom, sorry, Pascal, but I'm getting to it now. So very simple dish that I'm going to cook for you. It's actually a side dish, so it can be used for um, a number of things. In fact, I'm going to make it and I'm probably going to have it with my roast beef uh, this evening. It's an Italian-inspired uh, dish, which is kind of my, uh, my thing. Um, so there's kind of two elements to it. The first thing is kind of a salsa verde, so we've got lots of beautiful fresh uh, summer herbs here. I've got flat parsley, uh, I've got a couple of different types of mint in there, I've got some garlic, I've got some capers and I've got some anchovies. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of blend that up uh, with some olive oil and vinegar. And then vegetables, um, I've, got some, um, I've got some peas, I've got some spinach, lovely, uh, lovely fresh spinach, and I've got some sprang and broccoli there as well. Um, there's a little bit of chilli, there's some parmesan and um, there's a bit of creme fraiche there as well that we're just going to finish the dish with again. So it's really nice and quick. So first thing we need to do is just get our pan on, hot pan, a splash of good olive oil in there, and we're going to kind of uh, braise the vegetables. So quite simply, really, um, pop your broccoli in there first. It'll take a little bit longer, I suppose. Of seasoning and the heat and the steam and everything come out of cooking. You don't need to kind of add any uh, really kind of any liquid to that. Um, and get spinach in there. There we go. And get that braising down. A bit more seasoning. And then we'll just chop our chilli through. Like cut it on the angle. Right in there. Nice and mustard. We'll just let that do its thing there for a minute. So salsa verde. Uh, get our herbs in the blender. There we go. Garlic. I'm putting a couple of cloves in there. I like it most of the garlicy. It's kind of up to you, really. Um, you can avoid garlic altogether if you want. Capers in there, anchovies in there. Again, you take the anchovies out if you're not an anchovy fan. Um, but kind of classically salsa verde has all those, those bits and bobs in it, yeah? Okay. Seasoning. Good vinegar. I'm using uh, Moscatel vinegar. Good splash in there. I like Moscatel. It's kind of... It's, it's sweet, um, but not kind of creamy like I'll come in. So, uh, nice bit of olive oil in there. Again, olive oil is really important. Make sure you use, you know, top quality one. Whatever you can afford, but you know, you're going to be tasting that largely. So, So I don't want it super fine. You know, salsa verde traditionally is chopped by hand. Doing it blend is fine, but uh, I just want it kind of nice and uh, you know, kind of rustic feel to it. Yeah. Okay, so I've wilted my vegetables down. You can see that there. So now you need to add the liquid. Peas in at the last minute. And again, a bit more seasoning. Pop through. And I think, there's my pepper, let some pepper in there as well, give it a little taste. Mm. Just 
Try that bird. Give it a bit all around. A little bit of bite still to the broccoli. Like that. Kind of what you're looking for. Nice and fresh. That's a really tasty side dish. Okay, so chop verde. There we go. Kind of nice and thick. Vibrant greens, delicious. So it's really, you make a bigger batch of this. Use it for this and then save it. It's clear with kind of grilled meat and fish. You know, I always have a, I like to have a nice bowl of it in the fridge. It's fantastic. So, while in the pan, still warm, a nice spoon of your salsa verde in there. Stir that through your vegetables. There you go. Mix it through. And then, I'm just going to plate this up in a minute. Cut yourself a bowl. <coughs> Sorry about that. Put about everything set up. Get the bowl, stir it in. There you go. Right, so. Oh, this is good. I say this is a side dish, right? I mean, God, I'm going to. I might tap into this now, actually. It's delicious. And what's good is when you just warm that vinegary salsa verde up, you get the most fantastic smell. All the mint comes through. And, yeah? That's it. Okay, so... So, start like that, and then very simply, finish with a nice bit of... Parmigiano over there. Yeah. Um, I like to serve it with a spoon of creme fraiche. Just in the middle, so that kind of melts over as you put it to the table. And you get this beautiful, creamy, parmesan piquant, spring vegetable dish. Um, so, yeah, so spring vegetables, salsa verde, uh, creme fraiche, uh, five minute challenge. Um, I will be nominating five people, as is the challenge. Um, I haven't decided yet, but uh, when I post this, it'll be on there. Um, it's a really good cause, guys, so go for it. And again, well done, Tom Atkins. There we go, guys. Thank you very much.